This allows you to paint that area underneath. What most people don't realize is that mobile phone towers. That entire area is affected by the directional transmitter that's actually communicating with that tower. And put a shielding paint on the wall. You don't want to use a phone roll. Matter of fact, 95% of those circuit cutter switches installed without consultation are installed incorrectly and there's no benefit. Okay, let's answer some of your final questions about radiation protection and shielding. Can I shield one bedroom wall? And uh, this is often asked, or people just ring up and ask to purchase one liter of shielding paint, and then we normally explain this to them. Shielding paint makes a reflective surface. So effectively you are bouncing away the high frequency radiation. Um, for example, if you painted one wall to shield against a smart meter, which might be on the other side of that wall. Um, what you do have to realize is that the shielding, the reflective quality, functions on both sides of the paint. So if you've got a bedroom wall, smart meter on one side, you're bouncing that one away. But if you're sleeping against this wall, it does mean that the 52 smart meters in the rest of the streets, plus the three mobile phone towers you might have on that side, who were already blasting into your bedroom and exposing you to that radiation, are now also, once again, being reflected in the surface behind you, meaning you get them twice. Um, so, <clears throat> it is often, often a bad idea to shield a singular wall in a bedroom, because your proximity to that wall is, is, is close and you're there for a long period of time. Uh, only if you took a body measurement, um, you know, a microvolts measurement of the body of to see what the exposure of high frequency radiation is, and that measurement was so low that if it doubled, it would still be okay, then you could shield a wall behind you with shielding paint, and that being the only wall. Having said that, of course, if the situation changes, if the telecom companies decide that they want to put up another mobile phone tower on your side of the wall, which might be, you might be unaware of, then the whole picture in that room will change without you knowing it. Uh, so unless you get re-measurements done regularly, shielding of one wall is often a, a bad idea. If it's a lounge room um, and you don't spend a lot of time in close proximity to that wall, um, then you could shield a singular wall in that situation. Um, yeah, so I hope that, uh, that answers your question on that.